So here is the interior of this 2022 Genesis G70 and uh, this thing seriously sounds amazing. But let's go ahead and take this Genesis G70 rear wheel drive on EPOE test drive and we'll see how it does. I really love the orange, uh, um, the red stitching and uh, this is wrapped in leather. Everything feels nice and well put together and uh, yeah, seriously, very nice cabin. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take it on e-drive and we'll see how this Genesis will do. This one is the 3.3 uh, turbocharged, twin turbocharged V6. Here is a backup camera, beautiful 360. You could actually zoom in and zoom out. You could see the um, down view. Here is the rim view. And uh, yeah, overall, very good uh, camera. So I really like what Genesis did. And by the way, it does have, of course, a front facing camera since it has the 360 camera. So driving this Genesis G70 drives nice and smooth and it drives very similar to the all-wheel drive G70. Well, let's go ahead and take this G70 on the highway and we'll see how it does. When you put it in sport, everything becomes nice and sharp, very aggressive and uh, this thing seriously sounds amazing. Nice and responsive, and um, does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Beautiful screen. Steering wheel is nice and heavy around this corner, and um, this thing feels definitely lighter than the all-wheel drive G70 I drove. Yep, definitely this will put a smile on your face and uh, this thing is quick, sounds amazing, nice and comfortable and by the way it does have adjustable suspension so when you put it in sport mode the suspension stiffens up a little bit, it does have electronic um, adjustable suspension and um, the seats do tighten around my body so they do hug me in place so basically the side of the seats move to hug me in place when I put it in sport mode. Anyways, it does have a 3.3 twin turbocharged V6. It is connected to an A-speed automatic transmission and this A-speed automatic transmission is nice and responsive. Yep, it is nice and responsive even in normal mode. And this thing just keeps pulling. Anyways, this G70 produces 365 horsepower and 376 pound-feet of torque. And as I mentioned, it is connected to an 8-speed automatic transmission. And this 8-speed automatic transmission is seriously good. And yeah, this thing just keeps pulling. And I really, really like this 3.3 uh, twin turbocharged uh, V6. Sounds good and um, it's nice and responsive. Barely any lag from the turbos. Beautiful, comfortable, quiet ride. I could hear, uh, hear a little bit of the trucks passing by. <laughs> Brakes are very, very good in this uh, G70 does have the Brembo brakes. I think this is part of the uh, sport package. 
Sport Advance package, if I'm not mistaken. Could be either the Prestige or the Advance. But um, yeah, seriously, this thing is very, very fun to drive. Sounds amazing, feels nice and light, very responsive. Interior looks good. And um, by the way, it does have heated seats. This is standard. The cold seats, I'm not exactly sure if that's part of the Prestige package or the Advance package. And it does have heated steering wheel, which is nice. And uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as I told you guys, beautiful uh, screen. And uh, yeah, everything just looks very, very nice. I love the red stitching and um, it does have a um, sunroof. It is a larger or wider sunroof. This is part of a package. And I think the 15 speaker Lexicon sound system is part of a package too. So um, those two packages definitely add a good amount of things to this uh, G70 and uh, one of them is 4000 and the other one is 4300 and uh, yeah they definitely add a good, a good amount of um, things to this uh, G70 so I'm gonna keep this G70 in sport mode because when you put, put it in sport plus mode the, the traction control uh, turns off and uh, yeah I think it's better to keep it in sport mode with the amount of traffic there is today but yeah the G70s are tail happy let's actually go ahead and put it in sport mode now and do quick zero a quick acceleration so there is no wheel spin at all and I'm not exactly sure why and uh, even with brake boosting um, the rear wheels did not spin and the traction control is off in sport plus mode and yeah it just took a long long time for the car to respond and I'm not sure why exactly I'll maybe try this again and see if I could get a better launch but overall very comfortable car nice and responsive and um, I just really really love this speed automatic transmission this thing is quiet stable and comfortable on the highway and uh, nice and responsive the steering wheel is wrapped in leather and uh, there's a good amount of binds on it on the right is the safety features which I'm gonna try right now and on the left is the volume controls voice command and phone controls Let's go ahead and turn on safety features. Steering assist is on and adaptive cruise control is on and the car is driving by itself now. So it is steering, keeping the distance, uh, keeping some distance between me and the car in front of me. And um, I really, really like Hyundai, Kia and Genesis uh, system. Very good and um, I really like using it. Anyways, this button right here will control the gap, so you could set the distance between you and the car in front of you. There is one, two, three, four car gaps, so you could have four car uh, gaps between you and the car in front of you. And uh, yeah, overall, a really comfortable interior. The seats are comfortable, but I really wish they were a tiny bit more comfortable. Steering wheel is nice and um, wrapped in leather, has some red stitching. I really wish it had a little bit more thickness to it in this 3.3 uh, turbocharged V6 and uh, there is a wireless phone charger this is part of a package and um, there is one USB and 112 volt down there so yeah guys definitely there's a good amount of um, things that are added within those two packages But something that I have to say is that this G70 feels definitely lighter than the all-wheel drive G70 I drove a few days ago. And when you 
put the car in sport mode or sport plus mode, um, the exhaust valves open. Yeah, definitely this thing sounds amazing. And this is not fake noises. This is actually real noises from the engine and the exhaust. <laughs> yep, definitely tail happy taking that corner right there. And uh, but it did feel controlling. But I'm just not a big fan of the acceleration I did before I hopped on the highway. The turbos took forever to um, basically spool. And yeah, I just wasn't a big fan of the acceleration right there. Yeah, definitely this thing is fun. It will definitely put a smile on your face. Let's see if we could try another acceleration right here. Yeah, definitely there is a good amount of delay, like about two seconds or maybe even three seconds of delay and uh, I really really don't like that let's go ahead and uh, do another acceleration right here in sport mode uh, but I'm not gonna break boost it so we'll see how this uh, G70 rear wheel drive will do it's honestly better but not really by much and uh, the steering wheel gets nice and heavy in sport and sport plus mode but in comfort mode it becomes very very nice and light so i really like that let's go ahead and test the turning radius turning radius is actually not bad and um, i'm not sure if i mentioned but this screen is a 10.3 inch screen and honestly it looks amazing and uh, apple carplay is filling the whole screen Let's do an acceleration here with Sport Plus mode and test the traction control or just the car in general. <laughs> yep. Definitely this thing is tail happy. Um, I drove the 3.3 all we drive and um, it does send a good amount of power to the back and it does actually move the back of the G70 um, it basically slides a lot even though it's all we drive but uh, yeah seriously this thing is very very fun to drive there is not so many cars nowadays that are so much that are rear wheel, rear -wheel drive and that they are uh, fun to drive this is a V6 turbocharged rear wheel drive really fun to drive and um, very very nice if you want to drive it in a straight line uh, you won't have any issues um, basically launching it because there won't be any wheel spin but if you're trying to have fun and uh, make this thing sideways you could definitely do that very very comfortable car nice and sporty sounds good something that is really cool about this g70 is that it has basically two personalities and when you leave in comfort mode this thing is very comfortable and uh feels like any other car and it's uh, a great commuter and when you put it in sport or sport plus mode this thing becomes another car it just becomes so aggressive it sounds amazing the exhaust exhaust valves open up and um yeah, it just sounds really, really good. And yeah, seriously, very impressed with this rear wheel drive. And um, comfortable, seats are nice and comfortable. And uh, everything about this G70 is nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this POV test drive of this 2022 Genesis G70. I would like to thank Nick and 
gen a key Genesis here in Milford, Connecticut for providing me this Genesis railway -Rail drive. If you guys are around and if you guys are interested, make sure to come and check them out. I'm gonna go ahead and put the information and link in the bottom of this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe and as always, I'll see you next time.